Quick note, this video is not intended to bring hate towards Pokey, I'm simply talking about a recent situation. Hello everybody, my name is Hardy Mixmurdy and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the recent shit show that has unfolded when it comes to Pokimane and the release of her new snack brand, Mina Snacks. Mina Snacks? Yeah, that sounds right. Now, being an influencer and doing influencer things like releasing a snack or some sort of makeup line or anything is normal when it comes to huge creators. However, the downfall to these Toasties Midnight Cookies copy, I know she says it's a refined recipe, but honestly, product originality is pretty important when making something for people to buy, is that they are $7 a bag, and with your initial purchase, you need to buy four bags in bulk, which equals to $28. If I am being honest, I cringe at having to buy a $5 energy drink. Broke college student things, but if I'm a supporter of Pokemon and really, really want to try her new snacks, $28 for four bags of these clumps of whatever this is, is pretty expensive. Side note, if you've ever had a protein bar or like a protein cookie or any sort of healthy snack like that, honestly just go eat some fruit or something, like the texture ain't great most of the time anyway. Fruit is good for you, eat your fruit damn it. But the whole point of this video is because I want to talk about how Pokey decided to brand her new cookies on stream. Oh my gosh guys, I cannot wait. when people are like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven, seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but uh, look, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay. Mm -mm. How are the cookies going? Good. I don't know if you guys saw, but we're doing a promotion today. <laughs> it is not a broke boy's Black Friday sale. Okay. It. If you're a broke boy, just say so. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I simply cannot fathom that this woman has decided to call her fans and supporters poor. Can we just sit back and really soak that in? Damn. Couldn't be me. That's insane. What in your brain goes, hmm, maybe my fans are too broke to buy my product. I should accuse them of having no money because of how I chose to sell my product in bulk compared to a single bag. Not that majority of the money I probably have comes from their support when I stream anyway. Yeah, Pokey, it's extremely silly to go off on your supporters who send you money on the daily when your drop relies solely on those who actually watch you. Anyway, she uploaded a tweet claiming that her claim was towards one rude chatter who probably just questioned the price of her product, which I mean, criticism is to be expected when you launch a new product. Come on now. Your consumer is bound to question why they would spend $28 for four packages of cookies. With a price that high, most people would question because a box of unhealthy cookies is probably under 10 bucks, so why the hell would I spend money on for influencer cookies when I could buy some fucking Oreos for $6? On the other hand, it is possible that those who are hardcore fans of Pokey would buy these just to buy them. As a hardcore Hello Kitty stan, we know I need to spend all of my money on retail therapy and buy another Hello Kitty product that I probably won't use. Those who support creators or brands tend to spend some of their money on the most random shit anyway. Personally, I wouldn't spend $28 for something that I may have four full bags of because of the chance that I might not like it. Then I'm stuck with four bags of chocolate rat droppings. Pokey, what do I do with these if they're a bunch of garbo? I would suggest selling one bag for a cheaper price of say $5, however the other bags purchased after that are 7 Rather than bulk packing cookies, you should offer up a taste for a cheaper price, then increase the price as consumers fall in. You ain't getting my $28, girly. Oh, just to add as well, these are in USD. For my Canadian friends, those cookies are $38 for 4 bags, which is just great. I lied to you, you aren't getting my 38 Canadian dollars. We all know in this broken economy that is not for the average consumer, unless you would like to go without groceries for a week. Anyway, she's lost a small chunk of her followers over the past week due to this controversy. Moist Critical did a video about it, it's out there. A claim like this, even after an apology, can sit with viewers. It's also important to consider who Pokemon's viewer base consists of, and that tends to be lots of guys. At the time, probably like 2019, I, I know it was all Fortnite kids who are probably now young adults looking for work or still living at home. So honestly, it's pretty crazy to call your viewer a broke boy when they probably donated their weekly allowance to you when they were 12 in the hopes that you would see it and say hi to them. 
To those of you who support Pokey, maybe save your money and buy the new Modern Warfare because that just came out and it won't make you sad by calling you broke. Her choosing to fire back at negative comments never helps either. We all know how this goes. <coughs> Dream recently. <coughs> if a viewer tells you that it's not in their budget and that they can't afford these cookies, why would you knock them down? It's honestly some grade A privileged influencer money making type of shit. I also find it really funny that Pokey called out a streamer for complaining that her viewers couldn't pay $5 a month to sub to her in the past. Bad Bunny has since rebranded to Kira Chats, and if that controversy made her rebrand, I'd love for you guys to comment what you think Pokey will change her user to after this completely ruins her career. I know her marketing team is on strike in the hopes that she won't bully her simps for being broke boys. Like, honest to god, I understand that you make thousands a month and can probably buy these cookies like they're 99 cent candy, but most of us don't have a massively large following like you and don't have the luxury of playing video games and engaging with the community as a full-time job. I'm not knocking streaming for small creators, I get the grind that goes into it. Most of us can't afford to buy these pieces of cardboard when you make them $28 for an American consumer. Shit, I guess I'll have to put mine and Midnight Minis on my Christmas list and hope that Santa brings them in my stocking because my mama would shake her finger at me and say this price is fucking ridiculous. I'll be honest, responding to any viewer like this is just not appropriate. If someone claimed that cookies I had released were too expensive, I would acknowledge their comment and look into ways to make my product more affordable to my viewers because the customer is always right. Again, the customer is always right. I do realize that she has released an apology and everything, and is gonna look into making things more affordable, yada yada yada, making this video look like a rant or a tangent, or just a cow to milk some sweet sweet Pokemon views. But to me, treating your community like this is not okay. I don't like it at all, and I think it's super entitled. Something does need to be said. Especially when you claim it was a joke. Take some fucking accountability and say that how you responded wasn't okay rather than saying it's a joke when there is no intention in that clip of it being a joke. She literally doesn't talk about it after that. So only addressing it when people call it out and then pretending you were kidding is just messed up and I really don't think she should be forgiven so quickly for calling a viewer who considered her product broke. But as always, that's just what I think, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this situation in the comments below. I would hope that Pokey, as someone who calls out others for behavior like this, wouldn't react this way. Especially not for cookies that she originally wasn't the creator of. It's not like we're making fun of her life's work or a recipe she personally made. I hope Toasties gets a cut of the proceeds. Honestly, Pokey's product is three times more expensive than the midnight cookies they sold, so what the heck? Justice for Toasties. I've never tasted you either, but I bet Costco buyers miss you. Just for you guys, if this video does well, I will buy these fossilized dino shits and try them for myself and give the most honest review I can. Because I love you all so much and also because I want to personally destroy my small intestine. One more time, I will say please don't send hate to Pokey because we don't hate around here, we just squabble. Thank you all so much for watching, leave a like down below and sub if you'd like to stick around. Your support means everything to me and helps me produce more videos for your entertainment and pleasure, and I will see you guys all in the next one.